In this video, let's create our very first view application. Let's begin by setting up our development environment. For Vue, we need two things installed, Node and a text editor of your choice. For Node, go to nodejs.org, download and install the latest stable release. If you already have it installed, make sure to update it. For text editor, I recommend VS Code. You can download and install it from code.visualstudio.com. After installing VS Code, open the Extensions tab and install the VTOR extension. This extension provides syntax highlighting, code snippets, linting and formatting support, order completion, and a lot more features specifically for Vue.js. All right, to get us started, I have created a folder called Vue.js 3 and opened VS Code inside that folder. This folder is going to be our workspace for the rest of this series. Now let me tell you that there are four different ways of adding Vue to a project. We will be following only one of them, but I want you to be aware of the different methods. The first one, is to simply include Vue as a CDN package. All you have to do is include a script tag. If you've worked with jQuery before, this should seem familiar to you. The second way to add Vue to your project is using npm. In your project folder, simply run the command npm install Vue at next. This will install Vue 3 in your project. This is also the preferred approach over CDN approach when building large-scale applications with Vue. The third way is to use the Vue CLI. CLI stands for Command Line Interface and Vue provides an official CLI for quickly scaffolding single-page applications. What this means is that by running two commands, you have an entire Vue project up and running. You run npm install dash g at view slash cli and then view create followed by the project name. This will set up an entire project for you. The fourth way is using Wheat. Wheat is an opinionated web dev build tool that serves your code via native ES module imports during dev and bundles it with rollup for production. Because of the ES module's approach, your code is served at a lightning fast speed and you get nearly instant hot module replacement. To set up a view project with wheat, you just have to run one command. npm init wheat hyphen app followed by the project name. This again will set up an entire view project for you. Although there are four different approaches as we have just seen, we only have to learn one of them to get started with Vue. The CDN approach probably makes sense when you want to incorporate Vue into an old legacy code base where some parts of the UI will be enhanced by Vue, or it might also make sense when you want to quickly prototype something for learning purposes. The NPM approach is the recommended approach for building large scale applications with Vue. But this is granted that you are comfortable with setting up linters, formatters, hot reloading, webpack configs, build scripts, amongst other things in your project. The Vue CLI, as I have already mentioned, lets you create and run an entire Vue project with just two commands. It takes only a few minutes to get up and running with hot reload, lint on save, and production ready builds. This is the approach we will also be using for the series as it will allow us to focus on the concepts rather than worrying about webpack and build configurations. Which leaves us with Wheat. Now although Wheat is amazing, it's currently in the beta version and the stable release is not out as of this recording. I'm pretty sure that Wheat may be the best approach in the future, but for now, 
View CLI is what I'm going to recommend. And to be honest, when wheat is the go-to approach, you would have no trouble at all switching from running two commands to running a single command to set up your view project. All right, now that we have decided on the view CLI approach, let's create our very first view application. I have opened command prompt by running it as an administrator. If you are logged in as an admin, you should have no problems. However, if you're running from a profile on a computer where you are not the admin profile, make sure to open command prompt by right clicking and selecting run as administrator. This is important to ensure view gets added to your path environment variable. So in the command prompt, run the command yarn global add at view slash CLI. If you prefer NPM, run the command npm install dash g at view slash CLI. And the command will take a few seconds to complete. Once the command completes though, run the command view dash dash version to check the installed version. I am on version 4.5.8. Now that the CLI is installed, we can make use of it to scaffold a new project. So again, in the command prompt, inside the Vue.js3 folder, run the command view create followed by the name of the project. Let's call it hello world. When you press enter, it's going to ask you if you want to switch your NPM registry. I am going to choose no. Next, the view CLI is going to ask you to pick a preset. For our basic Hello World project, we're going to pick default view 3 preview with Babel and ESLint. That's the second option. I'm also going to set yarn as my package manager. This command again takes a few seconds to run. And once the command completes, you should have a new folder called Hello World, which contains our view application. Now that the command completed successfully, let's go back to VS Code. Over here, you can see that we have our Hello World project. To run this project, open the terminal, navigate inside the Hello World project folder, so cd hello world, and then run the command yarn serve. If you're using npm, you might want to run npm run serve. But what the command does is set up a development server on localhost port 8080. I can control click this link and head to the browser. You can see that our Hello World project application is up and running. By default, the UI features a couple of links for a beginner to get started. So there you go, your first view application up and running and it pretty much required you to run four simple commands. Yarn global add at view slash CLI, view create hello world, cd hello world, and finally yarn serve. All right, now that we understand how to generate a view application using the view CLI, in the next video, let's understand the project's folder structure.